Majority of appointees heading security agencies are from the North Presidency. Now to the news info. <coughs> the Presidency has denied allegations <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> that the current administration is favoring the Southwest at the expense of other regions in terms of appointment in security sector. After the appointment of Major General Olufemi Oluyede as acting chief of army staff, many persons, especially on social media, accused President Bola Tinobu of urbanization, a term which loosely interprets as favoring the Yorubas. Oluyede was appointed to stand in for General Taurid Labaja, chief of army staff, who has been away from the country treating an undisclosed ailment. Some Nigerians had argued that they were equally competent generals who could stand in for Labaja other than another person from the southwest. Apparently, weighing into the conversation, Sunday died a special advisor to the president on public communications and orientation, shared a list of the heads of security agencies appointed by Tinubu. According to the list, the northwest has the highest appointees, eight, followed by the southwest, five, and the north central, four. North is has three appointees, according to the presidential aid list, where south-south and South is have one each. Facts do not lie. Below, we see laid bare the facts about the regional outlook of President Tsunobu's appointments within 20 security agencies. The label of in favoring Yorubas in the security setup does not fit. Nigeria will heal the diary captioned the process because we know that houses are, are like the ones heading major, major positions in this country. So this one that they want to put tribalism and say, and Tinobu is trying to rebalize the nation. This is a lie. This is a big lie. Do not believe it. Do not. But the Jew says, future generations will never, never be happy with us if you continue with this malady. Nigeria is a theater of absurdities. We should really have to sit down and do critical thinking about what we have to do about Nigeria because we are experiencing motion without movement. And it's actually a total waste of time. And the energy spent on this will never be in vain. Marco Bino said the same thing was done during one of the administration. I am this country to me. Mr. President is right. Yes, because houses are the ones heading majority positions in this country. So whenever something doesn't favor them, they start complaining. And then maybe Igbos can complain that, oh, we are not using Igbos in, in, in most LM position. There are Igbos that you should use. But no, it is always the houses and Yorubas, and they have more upper hand self than any other, they act like they, they, they own Nigeria. If you hear this person, it is an Hausa name, and, and president of this and this, it is an Hausa person, so I don't understand this, where this urbanization is coming from. Mike Amori says, where were the accusers of President Tutumbo during his predecessor that fulanized this administration, Abio? With about 90% of service chiefs from the north, low sided key position. Sinobu tried better than Buhari. Keep your mouth shut, zombie. Yes, sir. Because during um, Buhari's um, tenure, <coughs> all the people from in power, from head to toe, were houses, were full and ease. And that person did not come outside to talk then. No. But now that Sinobu is using Yoruba, and it's not like every of his cabinet are Yoruba, there are Igbos there, there are houses there. Now they are complaining. Ah, with this one, I don't support them more against Tinobu. My camera says, okay. When you catch Victor said, now Buhari Statham, make Una no complain, I beg, now turn by turn. Una day when Buhari only not for his time, only puts not for his time. Abi, they were there, they did not complain. But now that this is Yoruba, they are complaining. I don't understand why we use tribalism as 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 a means to talk about things in this country. <coughs> Bryce Shadrach says this PNB not do the same. Why complain now? We know that the country is already divided amongst ethnic and regional lines. We in the Akombi says there will be sabotaging President Bola Ahmed's efforts in fighting terrorism as planned by Buhari and Northern political class. Let there be deductions. Mm. Father Gossi says, don't come on board, Mr. Sunday. Shehu Ibrahim says, go and chop your bread, finish, brainwash. Because I don't understand. Two people are, are mostly in power, but now that you realize that they are complaining, everything this house are people, they complain about. And yet, they are not doing anything to bring, to bring um, 
uh, resources to bring where they need to the country, but they are always the one complaining. They want everything to be for them. They want everybody to be working for them. They want to share money that they are not bringing resources. They, they are not bringing revenues for. I don't understand them. I am I says beautiful of Dari. Oh, and if he says this is a fact, but Bari started it, it has become a norm. Yes, it has become a normal thing. So, anybody that is there, if you want to put your people in power, will also be it because that is the way some, some predecessors have been doing it. That Mark says, Buhari started nothing like such, then you, you, you are not in this country. You are not. Mark says, all security agencies were from the north, then yes. All of them were from the north. You hear Abdul something, Abdul this one, and hear this one. House and names, they put there. So why are they complaining now? James Dyson says, China president wrote Nigeria protest, ag protest against everything. Very unfortunate. It is well. If I am the case, you are bold enough to give your breakdown well. Mother Earth is watching you all. Nasir Ibrahim says, continue deceiving yourself. Okay now, he's deceiving himself. Sani Sudahiri says, nonsense. Most of the appointees are not professionals in the field of security. Okay, so those houses, they, they, were, they are professionals in the field. As far as they ask that Boko Haram Sabi. So what makes you think that they are not competent or they are not professionals? He listed the said one, defense minister is an accountant and a businessman. Two, state minister of defense was a grade two teacher. Three, national security advisor is a police legal officer, not a professional police officer. What is all the appointment to the region? Please, please, please. Okay, now. Stella Wanko says, liar from the pit of hell. Baba Yemi says, the complainers were not alive during the eight years of President Buhari. Northern has known the Nigeria at that time. I wonder, I wonder, as if, as if they were blind when, when Buhari was putting only people from his tribe to, 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 rule, to rule places of power. Ken Demogori says, don't mind them. During President Buhari's time, he appointed almost full and his insensitive position. Nobody made noise though. Why the not is grumbling now? Why? Besides, some sensitive for the president must appoint people he can trust. Period. Yes, so, Regina Ignatius says that is why we have security problems. Okay. Peter Musa says, Sinobu have tried though. No be similar what happened during Buhari's regime. I'm telling you. This man said even put some of them in power. Put Ibos there, put Yoruba the there. It's like he's trying to balance everything up. But they are always complaining because how sad people they will always complain. My listeners, if I see you, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to like to share and subscribe. Thank you for listening. See you some other time. Bye.